Dear students, we are going to learn some important problems from exponents and powers, class 7. Okay. Simplify 2 raised to 5 all raised to 2 into 7 raised to 3 all divided by 8 raised to 3 into 7. Using laws of exponents, how to simplify this question? 2 raised to 5 all raised to 2. This is the first number means here we have a double exponent so how to cal how to calculate this one multiply the exponent that is 5 into 2 2 raised to 5 into 2 then into on the numerator 7 raised to 3 and in the denominator 7 raised to 1 so apply the division laws of exponents so we can write 7 raised to 3 minus 1 in the denominator here we have 8 raised to 3 8 can be written as 2 raised to 3 2 raised to 3 means 2 into 2 into 2 that is 8 so 8 can be written as 2 raised to 3 then all raised to 3 then next step listen 2 raised to 5 into 2 means 2 raised to 10 into 7 raised to 3 minus 1 means 7 raised to 2 all divided by 2 raised to exponents, uh, double exponents, so 3 into 3, that is 9. Then again take 2 raised to 10 on the new numerator and 2 raised to 9 in the denominator. So apply the division laws of exponents, 2 raised to 10 minus 9 into 7 raised to 2. Then 2 raised to 10 minus 9 means 2 raised to 1, that is 2, into 7 raised to 2. So the answer is, 2 into 7 square means what? 49. 2 into 49 is equal to what? 98. So the answer is 98. Then next uh, simplify. 25 into 5 square into t raised to 8 all divided by 10 raised to 3 into t raised to 4. So here on the nu uh, numerator the first number is 25. So 25 can be written as 5 into 5 that is 5 square into Again 5 square into t raised to 8 on the numerator and t raised to 4 in the uh, denominator. So apply the division laws of exponents. We can write t raised to 8 minus 4. Then again denominator 10 raised to 3. 10 raised to 3 can be written as 2 into 5 all raised to 3. 2 into 5 means 10. So 2 into 5 all raised to 3. Apply the laws of exponents 2 raised to 3 into 5 raised to 3. On the numerator, again apply the law 5 raised to 2 into 5 raised to 2. That is 5 raised to 2 plus 2. Bases are equal. So 5 raised to 2 plus 2 means what? 5 raised to 4 into t raised to 8 minus 4 means t raised to 4 divided by in the denominator the same 5 raised to 3 into 2 raised to 3. Then 5 raised to 4 on the numerator and 5 raised to 3 in the denominator. So how to write 5 raised to 4 minus 3 into t raised to 4 same and divided by 2 raised to 3 is the same number. So the answer, how what is the last answer? 5 raised to 4 minus 3 means 5 into t raised to 4 divided by 2 raised to 3 means what? 8. So Multiply the on numerator 5 into t raised to 4 means 5 t raised to 4 divided by 8. Then last question 3 raised to 5 into 10 raised to 5 into 25 divided by 5 raised to 7 into 6 raised to 5. On the numerator the first number is 3 raised to 5 the same number no need of change then 10 raised to 5 10 raised to 5 same 2 into 5. 2 into 5 means 10. So 2 into 5 all raised to 5 into 25, 5 square or 5 into 5. In the denominator, 5 raised to 7 is the first term. So it's the same number and 6 can be written as 2 into 3. 2 into 3 means 6. So 2 into 3 all raised to 5 means 2 raised to 5 into 3 raised to 5. Which law is applied here? a into b all raised to m is equal to a raised to m into b raised to m. Then 3 raised to 5 into apply the law 2 raised to 5 into 5 raised to 5 into 5 square all divided by denominator the same number. No change. 
Then again take numerator. Here first term is 3 raised to 5 into second term 2 raised to 5. Then third and fourth combine by using laws of exponent we can write 5 raised to 5 plus 2. 5 plus 2 means what? 7. So 5 raised to 7. In the denominator there is no change in that step. Then we get 3 raised to 5 into 2 raised to 5 into 5 raised to 7 on the numerator. In the denominator 5 raised to 7 into 2 raised to 5 into 3 raised to 5. Last step apply the division laws of exponents. We can write first one 3 raised to 5 on the numerator and 3 raised to 5 in the denominator. So we can write 3 raised to 5 minus 5. The same way we can write 2 raised to 5 minus 5 into 5 raised to 7 minus 7. Then the last answer is 3 raised to 5 minus 5. 5 minus 5 0. So 3 raised to 0 into 2 raised to 0 into 5 raised to 0. Then 3 raised to 0 means 1. 2 raised to 0 1. 5 raised to 0 1. So 1 into 1 into 1 equal to the last answer is 1.